Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. Here we're looking at the 2018 Grand Design Imagine 2670 MK. And this is kind of a unique floor plan for travel trailers. It's got a little office area in the back, a large living room area. We'll see that when we get inside. It has a nice big ample storage area down here. Got a slide out here. This is under the kitchen. There was some water damage here to the slide out area. You'll see the uh, vinyl wrap wood here um, got wet as, as also right here. If you're good with woodworking, this is something you could fix. I mean, it's it's solid. It's just uh, th this piece probably would need replacing, but it's just that, that vinyl that they put on the outside of the wood for a RV. Um, once it gets wet, it just doesn't... Uh, doesn't stay intact and you had some water damage here on the on the actual door itself here why well, it's so important to keep keep an eye on your camper every 90 days you need to be checking those seals i uh, had the folks uh put a bead of caulk right here and also up here right there i can feel it almost put my finger in the gap had they put a bead of caulk there i probably would have uh negated that whole problem and it wouldn't have gotten any worse either way not a not a hard fix there there's a couple other little condition issues I'm going to show you as we go across. Um, there are some two spots of cosmetic delamination right there at the corner here and the corner opposite this. Uh, roof looks in good shape. Uh, it does have one little patch on it to the right. I've got a picture of that in the profile. But it wasn't any damage to the underlying roof area. And if I didn't point that delamination out to you, you probably wouldn't even be able to see it. Let's see if I can get zoom in on it right there. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this is a 50 amp uh, plug setup. Uh, 50 amp cord is located in here. It has a Furion uh, solar prep on it. Back in that storage area. Now there, um, there is also a leak here on the on the faucet. They've got a soft floor area here, and it's going to go from approximately right there up to here. Uh, if it was mine, I'd just leave it the way it is and put a piece of wood over it to support it. The frame rail is right here. Um, that's that's more than you need for just to take your camping supplies with you. It's just a piece of wood to reinforce it. We have priced this accordingly um, with the damage that, it, that is on it. Um, $19,995 on a RV that's a $30,000 book is a heck of a deal and there's nothing here that you really can't live with and just use the way it is Just keep it sealed Got an electric tongue jack here on the front makes setting up your RV when you get to the campground really easy two um, 20 pound each uh, Gas tanks here battery on the front hand crank there uh, The previous customer upgraded to an electronic entry system walk inside all your controls are right here on the door as soon as you walk inside there's the convenience center and we'll just do a quick pan around here and we'll go back and talk in depth about it all right starting over here you got a uh, fireplace with a um, 1500 watt heater in the top of it you've got a television on a televator that pops up when you push the button you got all that counter space for your kitchen prep area, plus you got the island bar over here. This has a stainless steel sink in it, one piece, so you put a nice hot pot and pan down inside of it. It also has a sprayer port up here, pulls out, you spray it off just like you have in your home. Utensil drawer, um, metal grate, uh, Dometic uh, oven and stove combo. The Dometic's a little bit bigger than the Suburban, allows you to cook more stuff in there. An actual vent that vents outside. Seven cubic foot Dometic refrigerator works as a gas electric, so you can go off-grid camping with it and still have, maintain the cold. Here's that little desk area, which is really nice. Um, you got the uh, table and chair and um, storage area up above and a window to look out. Here's the dinette. Um, we option uh, all of ours that we can get with the dinette uh, with with it that way if somebody wants to take this away and um and do the um uh uh 
dog crates or something like that there you can so this originally when it uh, came out looks like it had a dinette in it and that's what they did was convert it over to the to the dinette because this is the table for a um for a booth and this is the power plug too that would have been in the bottom of the of the booth which you can just put behind the sofa or you could run a power strip out here if you wanted something out here You've got the um, sofa here. This is really comfortable. These are Thomas Paine furniture. Uh, we do have a little chafing here on the back on the one side. Um, if it was mine, I'd just replace it. But uh, you can certainly just use it the way it is, put a duvet cover on it or something. Got a large wall. Um, there's the heater port down there, all grand designs. There are no holes in the floor for heater ports in the living areas. And it does have the racetrack uh, air conditioning ducting, which if you haven't seen how that works, pretty cool. Nice and quiet inside when the AC is running because there's no buffering air sound. Then we've got the uh, sink in the bathroom here, a little cubby nooks for towels. Very large um, uh, tub, looks like it's about 36 by 30 and plenty of room for your legs at the toilet area. And going up to the bedroom, we've got a queen size bed up front, storage all around and an armoire storage over here. Spot for a TV if you want to take a TV with you. This is a 2670 MK here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. This is Alex, the eBay guy. If you have any questions, want to give me a call or want to go camping in this this weekend, give me a call at 240-405-7790.